What happens when we pit the best fishing knots head to head in a competition of strength? Not war's life. Because we're using light lines from Berkeley. Six pound 100% fluorocarbon, eight pound trilene XT, and six pound fire. This week's challenger, the Eugene Ben Knot, taking on last week's winner, the Fish and Fool, which if you remember, is the 2009 Knot Wars champion. Now if you missed last week's episode, let's show you how to tie the Fish and Fool. Insert the tag end through the eye of the hook twice and then run it up the main line. Then bend the line downward to form a loop. Run the tag end through the loop five times. Tighten with the tag end after moistening the line and carefully slide the knot to the eye of the hook. There it is, the fish and fool. Now let's learn how to tie its challenger, the Eugene Bent. Start by running the tag end through the eye of the hook and form a long loop. Wrap the loop around the standing line four times. Then run the tag end through the loop. Moisten and tighten. Now when tied correctly, you're going to hear a slight pop when you draw this knot tight. So there it is. The Eugene Ben knot. An easy knot to tie, but its competition is not so easy. Let's see what happens. Now here we are at the Berkeley Knot Wars machine. We've got it all set up, ready for this week's competition. The challenger, the Eugene Ben knot. Last week's winner, the Fish and Fool. Let's see which one holds up under pressure. <laughs> Ben Knot, while a good challenger, could not hold up against last week's winner, the Fish and Fool. Now these knots strength-wise were almost equal when it came to mono and fluorocarbon. But when we put them on the braid, well, the Fish and Fool flexed its muscles and put it over the top. Which means it's coming back next week to face the knot, the Palomar. I'm excited, hope you are too. So if you want to learn how to tie either one of these knots, just head on over to our website, fishingclub.com. Or better yet, download the Knot War app on your smartphone. Knot Wars. Because no good fish story ends with a broken knot.